so today I wanted to do a quick video on what's available for cylinder heads for these LS1 cars and uh, I'm gonna list the cylinder head how much they cost and the flow numbers and uh, you can judge for yourself uh, what you want now living here in Canada uh, I would suggest buying from Summit Racing just because they offer free shipping Whereas uh, from places like Texas Speed, I'm not sure what the shipping cost would be. I'm sure it's probably not cheap. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, the first thing I should mention, before you buy any cylinder heads, you want to email the manufacturer of the cylinder head you're planning on buying. Reason being, you want to make sure it'll work on your particular engine. For example, these ones here, these uh, LS1 Enforcer cylinder heads, there's two versions. One, I believe, works on the 4.8 and the 5.3, and it'll work on the LS1, LS2, and a 6-liter. But the other version will only work on the LS1, LS2, and the 6-liter because of the bore sizes. But like I said, you want to you wanna email them first just to make sure. So anyway, these here are the cheapest heads you can get, and right now from Summit Racing... They're $743 a piece. They sell them separately, so you have to buy two. And uh, there's the flow numbers. The flow numbers aren't great, but they're better than the, the factory LS uh, cylinder heads, including the, the LS6 or the 243s. And now you can also get them just a little bit cheaper. Summit has their own version of the same cylinder head, and those ones, too, that come in two different uh, sizes, one for the, the smaller bore engines and then one for the LS1 and up. Okay, so now we're getting into a little more expensive cylinder heads. These ones here are the AFR 215s, and they're fully CNC ported. As you can see the, the flow numbers are quite a bit better than the, the LS1 Enforcers. Uh, these are sold in pairs, and it's uh, Summit wants $29.99 for them. And I should mention, all these prices are in U.S. Okay, next up is uh, Trick Flow Gen X 220s. These are as cast. They don't have the CNC porting. That's why the prices are a little bit lower. They're also sold separately, so you have to buy two. And uh, right now, they're $998.99 through Summit Racing. Also, uh, they changed the valve angles on these ones. And I, I remember reading somewhere that they, they require a full, full roller rocker arm. So before you bu ever buy a trick flow head, you want to email trick flow and find out exactly what you have to use for rocker arms. So next up is the trick flow Gen X 215s. These are fully CNC ported. That's why they got the higher price. And they're, again, they're sold uh, separately, so you have to buy two. Right now, they're thirteen thirty ninety nine through Summit Racing. And again, with the Trick Flows, always email Trick Flow to see what you need for for rocker arms. Okay, so next up is Texas Speed. Now, if you live in the U.S., this here probably be a good route to go. You can send them your factory castings, and they'll do a full CNC porting and replace the valves. And uh, like in this case here, for the stage 2.5, uh, it's about, what is it, thirteen fifty nine. Prices will probably vary. I think these are sale prices right at the moment, but you could always call them. Now, for me, living in Canada... Uh, the extra cost of shipping to them and then having them shipped back wouldn't be worth my while. But if you live right in the U.S., it might be a pretty good deal. Per personally, I'd prefer to have brand new castings, but if you're on a budget, uh, this could, uh, could be for you. And here's some flow numbers. So if you look at these flow numbers, they're pretty, pretty good. They can squeeze a lot out of, the, out of a factory cylinder head. So next up is the Texas Speed Brawler LS6. Now, I don't know if these are GM castings that Texas Speed buys from GM and then CNC ports them, or if they actually cast these heads themselves and then CNC port them. You'd have to email Texas Speed. Anyway, the, the price isn't too bad. The flow numbers are good. And one thing to keep in mind, uh, 
all these cylinder heads, ex with the exception of the LS1 Enforcer heads, they all flow more than a stock cubic inch LS1 would ever need. So, like I say, any of these heads are going to be quite a quite a upgrade. Okay, next from Texas Speed are the PRC as cast two uh, twenties. Uh, these ones here, again, they got a good price and good flow numbers. And like I said, most of these cylinder heads, the flow numbers are all pretty close to one another. The advantage of these here is they're, they're brand new castings, and I'm pretty sure the decks are quite a bit thicker than your, your factory cylinder head. Okay, so the last set of cylinder heads I'm going to show are from Texas Speed. Uh, these are the PRC 227s. And they're fully CNC'd. If you compare the flow numbers to the, the ASCAS PRCs, you can see there's an advantage. And there would be power there, but on a, like I mentioned, on a stock cubic inch LS1, it would be minimal, depending on how much cam's in the engine. So this here would be the last set of cylinder heads I showed, just because if you, if you compare them all, you can see they're all within uh, the same ballpark. So there's no sense in listing any of the other cylinder heads from uh, Brodex and Elderbrock and, and companies like that because they're all pretty much the same, so it really comes down to price. Okay, guys, so there's just a short list of what's available for the LS1. I know I left out a lot, like Elderbrock, Brodex, Mass Motorsports. Basically, I chose the ones that I felt were the, the better priced cylinder heads and their... And more widely available but uh, like I said there's a lot to choose from and a lot of the heads I chose were based on a, a stock cubic inch LS1 now if you got a stroker motor you'd probably want something a little bigger like instead of a, a 215 maybe a 245 but uh, anyways I hope this video helps somebody out and we'll catch you in the next one